Story 46 Help! Help! People were always asking Jesus questions. One day, a teacher came to him. I know we must love God, he said, and I know that God wants us to take care of other people too. But who does he want us to help? Is it our friends or the people we know? Then Jesus told him this story. Once upon a time, a man was walking down a lonely road. All of a sudden, some big, bad robbers jumped out at him. Help! Help! cried the man. But there was no one to hear him. Those big, bad robbers hit the man and hurt him. They took all his money and ran away. He was left at the side of the road. Oh, oh, groaned the man. He hurt all over. He couldn't get up. He lay there in the burning sun. He couldn't do anything. Then he heard footsteps. Nearer and nearer the footsteps came. Help at last, thought the man. But the footsteps went on by. Someone had seen him, but they hadn't come to help. Oh, oh, groaned the man. He was feeling dreadful. A long time passed and he heard footsteps again, nearer and nearer. The footsteps came. Help at last, thought the man. But the footsteps went on by. Someone else had seen him, but they hadn't come to help. The man was feeling worse and worse. It was getting late when he heard a new sound. Clip, clop, clip, clop. Someone coming down the road on a donkey. This was a man from another country, an enemy country. But he stopped when he saw the man who was hurt. He needs help, the traveller said. So he cleaned the man's cuts and put on bandages. Then he lifted him carefully onto his donkey. A little way on, they came to an inn. This poor man has been hurt by some big bad robbers. They've run off with all his money, the traveller told the innkeeper. We must take good care of him. Next day, he had to go on. He hadn't finished his journey. Here's some money, the traveller said to the innkeeper. I hope it's enough. Take care of the man until he is well. If it costs more, I will pay you when I come back. Now Jesus asked the teacher a question. Tell me, which of those people did as God wanted? The one who was kind and helped the man who was hurt, the teacher answered. Then be like him, said Jesus. Be kind to anyone who needs your help. Not just your friends, not just the people you know, but anyone. Story 47 The Lost Sheep Wherever Jesus went, there were crowds of people. Good people and bad people too. They wanted to see what he did. They wanted to hear what he said. Many people loved Jesus, but some of them grumbled. Jesus is friends with a lot of bad people. He goes to their parties. That's not right. So Jesus told this story. Once upon a time, a man was counting his sheep. He had a hundred sheep, so it took a long time. One, two, three, twenty, thirty, forty, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Where was number a hundred? Number a hundred was lost. He had ninety-nine sheep left. So did he mind that one was lost? Of course he did. The man went out at once to look for it. He looked and he listened. He 
He listened and he looked. He wouldn't give up until he'd found his lost sheep. At last he heard a tiny sound. Bah, bah. He followed the sound and there was his sheep. It gave a, he gave it a big hug. Then he picked the sheep up. He put it across his shoulders and he carried the sheep all the way home. When he got to his house, he rushed indoors to tell his wife and children, I found it, the lost sheep is safe. Then he hurried next door, I found it, the lost sheep is safe. Come round to my house for a party. Everyone smiled. The story had a happy ending. Then Jesus turned to the grumblers. If you lose a sheep, aren't you glad to find it? When someone is in trouble, comes back to God, God is happy too. God doesn't want anyone to be lost. Jesus talks some more about sheep and the shepherd who looks after them. A good shepherd knows each one of his sheep and they know his voice. The sheep will follow their shepherd but they just run away from strangers. Then Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. If a fierce wild animal comes to hurt the sheep, Jesus said, a good shepherd fights it. He never runs away. Then he said, I am the good shepherd. I will die for my sheep to keep them safe. Story 48 Lost and Found Jesus is friends with a lot of bad people. That's not right, the grumblers kept on saying. But God loves and cares about everyone, not just good people. Jesus said and he told them this story. Once upon a time there was a father who had two sons. The older boy helped on the farm but the younger one said give me my share of your money now. I want to have some fun. That made his father sad but he gave him the money. The boy left home and went far away. The fun didn't last. His money was soon spent. The boy got a job. It was feeding the pigs. He was so hungry. He could have eaten the pig food. He was very unhappy too. This is silly, he thought at last. Why don't I go home? No one's hungry there. Oh, tell Dad I'm sorry I wasted all his money. I don't deserve to be one of the family. But perhaps he will let me work for him. So he set off home. All this time his father had waited and watched for his boy to come home. Now here he was, coming down the road. He ran out to meet him. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm so sorry, the boy said. I don't deserve to be one of the family. But his father just hugged him and kissed him. Fetch the boy some clothes, he shouted. Dress him up. We're going to have a party. My boy has come home and I'm so happy. I thought I'd lost him, but now he is found. Whatever is going on, the older boy asked when he came in from work. Your brother has come home and your father is giving him a party, they told him. A party? After all the trouble he's caused, Dad's never given me a party. It's not fair. He wasn't a bit pleased. He was very grumpy. But his father said to him, You know I love you. I will always love you. One day everything I have will be yours. Please don't sulk. Today is a day to be glad. Your brother has come home 
and I'm so happy. I thought I had lost him, but now he is found.'"